Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I had a lot, lot more pitches in, in me to, uh, to go out there, but you know, they, they told me uh, before before the start that it would be a uh, like a regulated kind of kind of start. You know, um, not a tune up because you know, like I, like I said before, it's a, a, a big league ball club, and you got to bring your game uh, every time. So um, you know, obviously the pitch count I think was gonna be a little bit lower, but I didn't take it any lighter or anything like that. Talks about this week. I mean, that's kind of what you you're thinking about that whole game plan for. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I just prepared for the start like like any other. I mean, obviously, you know, it's a it's a huge day. Um, I mean, me personally, sure, why not? But you know, it's 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 overshadowed by by Chipper. You know, it's 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 for good reason. I mean, it's his last uh, last home game here, and you know, it's it's unbelievable to see the the, the sport he gets. Um, and you know, I'm just, I'm really happy for him and happy for his career. Once when you went out to warm up, you tipped your cap to the crowd a little bit. What was it like pitching in this atmosphere, and does that help get you ready to pitch in the postseason? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I'm on the mound, you know, nothing, like the crowd doesn't really phase me at all, but, you know, going out there and all the other stuff, I mean, yeah, it, you know, I acknowledge it, and I understand that they're they're excited, and I'm excited too, but, you know, when it comes down to it, when I'm on the mound, i got to kind of, you know, zone in and uh, kind of block all that out. What does it mean for you personally to set the record for the most wins, consecutive first start? It's. I think the best part about it is it's. Uh, I mean, my name is is in the history books, but it's it's a team thing. You know, it's the, their team wins, and I mean, I obviously don't do it by myself. And you know, my swing is crap, and I'm not going to be scoring any runs. So, um, you know, the guys go out and, and battle for me because they know I'm going to go out and call throw strikes, and um, you know, and, and, and try and execute my pitches. So, um, it's 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 been a fun ride, and I don't think we're done. Did it shake you out a little bit when you're totally there? Did you see? I mean, anytime you, you know, it'd be cool if I turned on it into our own and, you know, like 97, I turned on it. But um, I was way late. I mean, I, before I even got a chance to look up, I mean, it was it already hit. I think it hit him in the ear. I think they said it bounced off the wall. So, I, you know, I just want to make sure he's all right. I, uh, from the mound, I looked over at Ike Davis and asked if he was all right. And, uh, you know, he said, he said, yeah. So. I mean, you don't ever want to hurt anybody in this game, especially, I mean, you know, 2000, uh, 2011 spring training with Salazar. I mean, it's just a scary situation. So, um, you know, I'm uh, just happy that he's okay. You were too bad.